So many of those pesticides shouldn't even be, be sold in some of those markets because they're being utilized like that. But so many cultivators, they, they just don't understand the science of this or how dangerous what they're actually doing is. More regulated industries, larger producers know these things and then they, they establish themselves accordingly. When you concentrate the good, you're concentrating the bad. They don't realize that. Or a systemic pesticide, I can use this on the root zone and it's not going to be absorbed by the plant. It's going to be fine. I mean, the marijuana industry group and others lobby for those sorts of things for their clients who cannot grow without those pesticides because they're not farmers. They're master growers, but they're not farmers. And that's the key point that we really need to understand. And those pesticides, they just, yeah, if you know the rules, you can get around them. So let's help to write better rules so that we know where the diversion can happen, how they can use those products. But through wise cultivation, they're not needed. Yeah, show don't tell is really the main thing. Like, because this industry, like you saw in the early slides this morning, 55% of it's less than a year old. Of course, I'm the best. I'm the biggest. I'm this and that. Anyone can say that, but realistically, I go off of like vetting opportunities, really testing the labs individually, blindly, and then also like, don't tell me what you do. Like, I want to see it. I want to understand it, and then the industry will speak for itself. Like, the the cream will rise. Everything else is going to be sifted off as you see it. Yeah. Thank you.